We are in a mess. Our country's in a mess. Our country's at war with itself. Yeah. We're fighting God. We're taking crosses off from buildings. That's right. I, I, I mean, our shopping network, we're going to have so many crosses just because we want people to wear them around their neck. It's God's. It's Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Amen. And things are going to change. And I, I don't know how long man can hold it together because desperate times are coming. We're at the end of the book. We're at the end of the story. We're in the, the perilous times. And it can be the greatest time the church has ever had. The church has got to wake up. Amen. And say, let's get back to Jesus. Yes. yes. You've sinned. Mm. You don't say, get out of the church, you sinner. You don't do that. You don't say, you've got to resign from your company because you had sinned. Do you know what? The Bible says all have sinned. Doesn't know what it says? Yes. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. What's the answer for America? It's Jesus Christ. Amen. It's the cross. Amen. Yes. He is the answer. He is the answer. He is the only answer. And it's time to get back to God. Yes. They're trying to have religion without God. That's right. They're trying to have religion without Jesus in this country. Without and what are they doing? It's anarchy. We can't just throw people out. You can't just fire people because they sin. That's a cross problem. Only the cross can solve the sin problem. Do you get that? Come on, church. We've got the answer. The church of Jesus Christ has the answer. And it's time to turn back to Jesus Christ. Amen. It's time to put him back on the throne. He's on the throne anyway. Yeah. But in our lives and in our hearts. That's right. And, 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 and it says right here, honey, in John 3 and 16 through 17, we all know John 3, 16, I think, right? I'm going to go ahead and read it, though, so you can get verse 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. 